Hi, this is Chris Overholt, and in this module, I'll show you how to implement uh, mechanical smoke ventilation in Fire Dynamics Simulator. Uh, I'll show you how to create a hole and uh, place an obstruction with a fan uh, and blow out uh, hot smoke and gases from your compartment. And I'll also show how to connect that to a uh, device such as a heat detector so it activates uh, after a device activates, a heat detector activates. Uh, or after a certain time. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I'd like to show smoke control in FDS and in this example I'm going to do uh, four steps and we'll run the model each time and see uh, what changes were made. So first I'm going to start with the room fire case uh, which is an example case that comes with FDS. The uh, first thing I'm going to extend the domain upwards and add a one meter square hole in the middle of the roof uh, second, I'm going to add a fan surface slash obstruction on the roof, which is blowing out air. Um, third, I'm going to add some devices that can help you visualize the flow and check to make sure that you're getting the correct volume flow rate. Uh, and then finally, I'll add a heat detector to activate the hole and the fan. So we'll go ahead and get started. And first thing I want to do is to grab the room fire example case. And I'm going to go to C program files. FDS, FDS5, examples, and under the fires folder, there is a file called roomfire.fds. And so I'm going to copy this file out and onto a folder on my desktop. So I'll create a new folder and name it smoke control. And I'm going to paste the FDS file in here. So Starting with this uh, basic case, I'll open this up in Notepad. And so the first thing I want to do is to extend the domain upwards. Uh, I typically don't want to have uh, smoke or, or hot gases or a fan blowing outside of the domain. So I want to extend the domain upwards. That way I can see uh, what's going on above the room fire case. And I want to add a one meter square hole in the roof. So to start out, uh, I'll run this example case. So I'll go start, run, cmd, enter, and I'll go into the desktop directory and smoke control. And if I do dir, and here I see my roomfire.fds case. So if I run fds5 roomfire.fds, uh, after a few seconds, this will start to run, and we'll see the default room fire case. So while that's calculating, I'll go back to the folder. Now we see some of the FDS output files. So if I click on the smoke view file here, we should get smoke view opening. And this is the default uh, room fire case. So we have a wall, doorway, uh, we have uh, some sofas, seats, and a table and we have a fire that starts uh, on the couch over here. So what I want to do as a first step is to extend the computational domain upwards so I can see what's going on on the other side of this roof and I'm not ejecting mass outside of the domain. Um, and then second, once I make an obstruction for the roof, uh, I want to go ahead and cut a hole uh, through the roof there. So I'll close smoke view and stop the calculations. And so if I go to the room fire case, the first thing I want to do is extend the domain upwards and I can do that with, on the mesh line. So first I'm going to change 2.4 to 2.8 and I should change the IJK line to match. So instead of 24, I'll make it 28. So now I've extended 0.4 meters in the Z positive direction. So I have that extension. And then the next thing I want to do is to create uh, an actual uh, roof obstruction. Otherwise I'll just have a, a blockage there. So it's a couple of things I need to do, and so I'll just scroll down here to, uh, let's say, the carpet um, line. Uh, this has a lot of the same numbers, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to start a new section called Smoke Control, and this is where I'll make my changes uh, to the file. So if I first paste that line, uh, first thing I want to uh, delete this stuff and I want to make this into an obstruction where XB is equal to 0 to 5.2 that's correct 0 to 4.6 in the Y direction that's correct uh, but in the Z direction I want it to be 
from 2.4 to 2.6, extending upwards. Um, and then the second thing I need to do right now, the top of the domain is closed or sealed shut. And so if I copy this vent line, set the mesh boundary to Z max as open, then I should be able to get an open, uh, an open boundary condition on the top of the domain. So I have an obstruction blocking the flow, and then when I do open the hole, I'll have an open domain to work with behind that. So uh, the next thing I want to do is to actually cut a hole in the roof. So if I copy this line down, I can say hole in roof. And for this, I'll say roof obstruction. So for the hole in the roof, I want to create a hole in the center of the room which is 2.6 meters so if I want to create a hole in the center around 2.6 meters uh, let's say I want a 1 by 1 meter hole there uh, then I'll change this to 2.1 to 3.1 so it spans 1 meter in the x direction same thing for the y direction uh, except now my center is 2.3 so if I want to go around 2.3 I'll give 1.8 and 2.8 and so that should give me one by one meter a hole in the center of the room and then I want to cut through 2.4 to 2.6 which cuts through that roof obstruction so after I make those changes I want to make sure to change this to a hole uh, so I have an obstruction a vent and a hole click save and I should be able to rerun this case by rerunning FDS5, room fired at FDS on the new input file. And after that starts running in a second, I can open the smoke view file and we should be able to see the changes that were made to the model. So now here's our room fire case and we now have an obstruction representing the roof. And we see that we've extended the domain a little bit uh, above there. And we've also created a hole through that obstruction, uh, which is active uh, from the start of the simulation. So if I were to turn this on, uh, I'd be able to see natural ventilation and smoke flowing through that vent. So if you're doing natural ventilation, um, you're actually done at this point. You can set your uh, hole to be created uh, via time or by some device. But uh, we have a few more steps we want to do for mechanical ventilation. So let me stop this simulation. And so we'll move on to step two. Uh, I want to add a fan surface and obstruction on the roof blowing upwards. So I want to place a fan in that hole that's blowing at some velocity upwards. So if I go back to my input file, um, what I want to do here is first I want to add a surf line and I'll call it fan. And on this line, I want to set, I want to be sure to set porous equal to true and this will allow air to pass through this obstruction. Uh, then finally, I want to add a velocity in meters per second. So I'll set it to one meter per second now. So if I have a one meter per second fan blowing in a one by one uh, meter squared area, I should be moving one cubic meter per second. So I've set the surface. Now I actually need to set the vent line. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, the obstruction line. So if I set uh, OBST, and I want to set the XB such that it's a plane sitting in the hole in the roof. So I can use uh, this line as reference. So the XB will be the same as this line here, 2.1, 3.1, 1.8, 2.8. 1 .8. And here I can set it, uh, I'll set it at 2.4, 2.4. So that sets a plane for this obstruction. So it's a zero cell thick obstruction and then I'll set the surf ID to fan and since the velocity is in the positive one direction it'll be in the positive Z direction here so with that that should be all I need now to have a fan in place so I'll save this file and rerun the case and what I should see is a zero cell thick obstruction on the top uh, blowing so if I open this up in smoke view now, oops. Uh, 
I should see the hole as before and now I see kind of a tan color default obstruction and at first glance it may look like that's blocking the flow but since we set it to porous equal true uh, we're gonna allow air to pass through there and we'll put in some uh, devices and outputs so we can look at the flow but for now that's all we need to do and we'll have a fan from time zero that's going to blow one meter per second in the upward direction so it's extracting air uh, from our room fire case.